going on, people? Um, <laughs> sorry for that last video. I <laughs> that that shit was just funny as hell. You you guys have no idea. But um, about that last video, the video is still coming. Um, I'm just going to do some editing or whatever. So you see what I'm saying? So I'm going to be uh, you know taking my time on it and whatever, and I'll be uploading that to my Shokyo Zone channel because it's going to be one of those videos you guys would, would consider, you know, um, you know, basically, you know, non-gaming related or whatever, and it's about somebody. So, um, you know, after all those vids on BG or whatever and all these other people, you know, I'm sure you guys wouldn't want me to, um, you know, upload that video to this channel. So that'll be going up on my Shokyo Zone channel um, sometime later on, but for now I'm going to get to, you know, more informative vids like this and things of that nature. But, um... Stay tuned for that video. It's coming soon. It'll make you laugh. It'll make you laugh. Um, but anyways, at the topic matter at hand, um, Unreal Engine 4 confirmed for the Wii U. Now, this doesn't mean that the Wii U is an ultra-powerful console confirmed. But what this does mean is that whatever the parts are within the Wii U, the parts feature a modern feature set. You see what I'm saying? Because notice how the Unreal Engine 3 is on freaking iPhones. But it wasn't supported on the Wii. Now, a lot of people actually believe that the iPhone 4 is actually, you know, um, more powerful than the Wii. Which, in the sense that it features a more modern feature set, I mean, you know, yeah. But, thing is, if you take Xenoblade and try to put it on the iPhone, you see what I'm saying? It won't work. Metro Prime 3 won't work. But the reason why the iPhone can't support the Unreal Engine 3 and the Wii can't is because the iPhone actually you know, has a more modern feature set than the Wii does. So it's not necessarily so much about power, it's just whether or not that system has a modern feature set. You see what I'm saying? So that is one thing it does confirm about the Wii U. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, the Wii U will be um, running the Unreal Engine 4. And basically Epic said that... um. The Wii U wasn't, you know, exactly a target system for it, but the Wii U can support it. That's basically what they said. And they also said that um, they'll be supporting, um, you know, phones with the Unreal Engine 4 as well. Um, he didn't say anything about last generation consoles. I, I doubt the PS3 and 360 will support it since, you know, they don't feature, they don't have a modern feature set or whatnot, but um, yeah. And, um, you know, I since I haven't done, um, since I really haven't expressed my thoughts on the Unreal Engine 4, let me talk about it in general right now. Um, when I first saw those screenshots, I really wasn't impressed. I really, really wasn't impressed. And I was like, Epic, if, if that's what, you know, your next generation engine, you know, is, then I've been right this whole time that it's not going to be this huge leap. Because honestly, I was not too impressed by those screenshots. And then I saw the trailer... I was like, you know, maybe it looks a lot better in motion. Saw the trailer. It's still, you know, nah, you know. Um, Square Enix's demo looked a lot better to me. Looked a lot better. Um, I'm really not impressed with the Unreal Engine 4. Or may, may, maybe, you know, maybe, of course, they could probably do more than that. It's just that, you know, Epic used that art style they like to, you know, use. The, you know, the bulkiness and, you know, all the, you know, realistic textures and all that stuff, you know, you guys know that art style, they, you know, that the Giz War shit and all that shit like that, like, I just don't, I just don't like that art style at all, but, um, the Unreal Engine, you know, on games that actually have a different art style than what Epic typically likes to do with Unreal Tournament and, you know, Gears of War and that, you know, games like Mirror's Edge, that runs on the Unreal, um, I was about to say Unreal Tournament, <laughs> Unreal Engine 3. And a lot of people don't know that, but yeah, Mirror's Edge runs on the Unreal Engine 3, so the Unreal Engine is is good when, you know, people don't just, you know, use that same generic, just, I just hate it, art style that Epic likes to use in their games. So, I mean, I like the Unreal Engine, I just don't like the way Epic utilizes it, basically. You know, Epic also said another interesting thing in the article, they said that, um... They said that their intention was not to bring Unreal Engine 4 games to the Wii U, but um, if a third-party developer chooses to, they can. 
So I'm, I'm guessing, you know, I'm guessing that's pretty much a confirmation that, um, you know, don't expect any epic made games. Exactly. See what I'm saying? Don't expect any epic games on the Wii U. You know, at least, um, you know, not as right now. But you can not see other companies using the Unreal Engine 4, you know, making games for the Wii U. But Epic said that they themselves, um, you know, they really haven't planned to make any Unreal Engine 4 games for the Wii U. So, you know, don't expect anything from them. But um, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Um, I'll see you later. Peace.